Hey guys and girls. So this will be part one of my dash cam install video. I'm currently installing it on my 2010 Ford Flex EcoBeast. Uh, the one that I got was the Thinkware dash cam FA200 and it's a front and rear camera. So what I'm gonna show you guys right now is just the rear cam install to see what I've done. So as you can see, I've removed this inner liner, that inner liner, which allowed the actual headliner to come down enough so that we can start feeding things through. So what I did is I loosened up, you can see that there's clips in here. So I've loosened all these clips to gain access to, to this here, this, this boot that's going through. And what I've done is I've actually I know it looks like somebody's dog's breakfast there, but I took a pair of side cutters and actually cut the boot open so that I could slide up into there more easily. And what I did is use just a common zip tie long enough and you feed that up and through, which allows you to get it through there. Then you actually take tape and you tape the end of the cord onto this and you pull it back through. Now, to make things easier, common dish soap. Pour a little bit of dish soap inside that boot because that zip tie wants to catch on everything. And then on the very end of the zip tie, I just put a little bit of all-purpose grease just to get everything started because I tried a couple times without the grease or the soap and it was a bugger. It did not want to go. So now, as you can see, there's the cable waiting to be installed. I've centered where the camera is going to go. That's the exact center. And to get those measurements, all I did was picked the very end of that lead for the uh, rear defrost, took it all the way across, grabbed a measurement. It was 32 inches plus or minus, And that's what got me to this. That's 16 inches. So we know that that's dead center of the vehicle. So then after that, all I did was ran the wire up in here. You can see it start to disappear there. There's the wire again. And then it's just tucked nicely up inside this weather stripping. It comes across. You can just barely see it there. I'm gonna push it back a little bit when I'm done. I didn't want to mess around with this airbag here. So I'm just leaving it, tucking it up there. And then again, it runs down through that weather stripping. Comes down the weather stripping. I pulled this side piece off. This piece here just has clips. So it pops right out. So now my wire is sitting right here and I can do whatever I want with it. Now, I'm probably gonna end up having to pull it back and tuck it up there, but for now it's just gonna sit here. So we'll look forward to uh, video number two, and I'll show you getting the actual front dash cam installed. Thanks for watching.